It's dark outside. I take Tula for a walk. She sees water, she starts growling. In this video, you're gonna find out what I think it is and the top three supplements for vision. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. If you've yet to do so, I'd love for you to click up there to subscribe. Click down there to sign up for notifications and then when you click, click the link further in the box below and you sign up for my newsletter, I can send you my free books and my free videos on how to heal your pets at home with my top natural remedies. So here's the deal. So last night it was dark, Tula yet to go for her sort of last evening walk. So I'm like, I gotta get her outside. Tula. A headlamp so I could see in the dark. See here, Whoa. and a hound. Okay, Tula. So out we went, and you know it was fine, normal. She trots along the trail, but the weirdest thing is I came upon the creek. So I shine my headlamp. This will be the fictitious creek with the pole. So I'm shining my headlamp into this creek of water and Tula, as she is now, she's all nervous, she was backing away, she wouldn't go in it, she actually started growling. I'm like, what the, can you not see it or what? So then it dawned on me that likely what's going on is she just was unable to see it or even just with the reflection of this, you know, this light just shining in on the water that, you know, it startled her eyes enough and, and her vision just isn't strong enough to actually discern like, is that water or what, or is it reflection? Hmm. So in Tula's left eye here, she's got this quite mature cataract. And what that means, that's the area of the lens that focuses the light. She was born with that, so she's never had great vision out of her left eye. But now, looking here at her right eye, good girl Tula. Let's see if we can sh show these guys what's going on there. It's a little bit cloudy um, looking right in the center and that can be a thing called nuclear sclerosis so it can be a normal aging change. But, hmm, making it just more difficult for you to see especially at night. Ula has this compromised vision which I've known about uh, just that it's progressed and now you know she's got the other eye her right eye isn't you know working here as well making it more difficult to see at night. So the next thing had me thinking, like I gotta start supplementing her with something to, you know, at the very least, you know, delay the progression of this, help her eyesight. Had me do a bit of research, and here are the top three supplements you should be using could could be helping your dog as well. But on balance, you can boil it down to about four or five particular supplements, and I think even sort of three really big ones that could be useful for our dogs. So the first one is this, um, flax oil or fish oil. The omega-3 fatty acids, when you look at all the array of different research, um, they're in every single you know, eye supplement, and no one's gonna contest their benefits. For all the different array of eye diseases, and definitely I see them being beneficial to Tula. Um, if you're going to supplement with flax oil, you're looking at doses of about one tablespoon per 50 pounds of body weight. That can be given twice daily. Based on Tula size, yeah, she'd sort of get one to two. I would do about one teaspoon twice a day. The essential fatty acids are also in my supplement, Ultimate Canine Advanced Health Formula in equivalent doses. I don't know if any of you remember Bug Bunny, who's a big advocate of eating carrots. Apparently it was good for your eye health. It turns out it is. There are a number of different things called carotenoids 
Um, and these are the different nutrients that often give the color to the fruits and vegetables. And many of those have been shown to actually be really beneficial for eye health. The hard thing is sort of trying to narrow them down and trying to figure out you know, what is most beneficial. Um, the two in particular though, one is called lutein, um, and it's found in really high concentration in egg yolk. Um, the other one is called um, zeaxanthin. Those two particular nutrients in, uh, have been shown to be really beneficial uh, for overall eye health. They just so happen they're in really high concentration in this, the green leafy vegetables. That, this actually is a little puck of frozen spinach. Mm. So if you are sort of making your dog's own food and you can find a way to incorporate that, even sort of blend it in, it would probably be the easiest way as opposed to having to you know, buy those supplements themselves too. As you can see with Tula, she isn't super crazy about green stuff. Oh, she's, oh, you're licking it. Good girl. Mm. Although she really does like some of the raw food anytime I make a home diet. So I'm kind of thinking you might consume some of it. I'm gonna to try to incorporate this into her food on a daily basis. Um, spinach is super inexpensive, easy for all of us to get. It's got lutein, zeaxanthin, two things that are super good for eye health. Cause I really, really wanna do whatever I can to at least, you know, slow down the progression of her loss of vision. A couple other nutrients that are often used with people. Um, one, vitamin C, it's an antioxidant. Um, many people claim it's really beneficial uh, for delaying the progression of cataracts, helping with cataracts. No question, it may be helpful with our dogs. I have additional vitamin C in my supplement, Ultimate Canine Advanced. As well too, vitamin E, another antioxidant. Look at the different array of antioxidants. Uh, may also be beneficial because some, some of the thoughts is with eye disease is that you've got think about um, antioxidants protecting against oxidation so anytime you leave say you know a, a bike or something just out in the rain it gets it gets wet that that metal it gets exposed to oxygen it rusts so think about that something that similar equation could be happening um, within your own pet's eyes and that's what antioxidants do. They're going to prevent the damage, that oxidative damage, you know, essentially preventing the rust. So they may be helpful with, you know, helping with eye disease, the progressions of eye disease. And then the last nutrient that's been used in an array of different eye formulations is zinc. Um, zinc itself is in a number of really big human supplements. It's got a pile of different research studies backing its uh, effectiveness too. So if you're going to look at doing you know, one, one, additional sup one additional supplement, it's nice to be, have zinc incorporated in that. And I also additionally have zinc in my formulation as well too, the Ultimate Canine Advanced. So thank you guys so much for watching this edition on Veterinary Secrets. If you yet to do so, I'd love for you to click up there to subscribe to my channel. Click down there to like this video. And lastly, when you click the link further in the box below, I can send you my free book, my free videos on how to heal your pets at home with my top natural remedies.